Coach, we had a uh, – talking about UNCW, you know, coming here with, with Coach Siddle. Um, this Your first year, you know, it was COVID year. It was difficult for everybody. It didn't go exactly how you wanted. But, you know, we regrouped. Sorry um, about that. <laughs> and uh we won't we won't get on that spence but yeah we regroup and uh end up having a very special year this year um what what are some things you'll take away from from this past year's team i think this past year's team um was the most connected you know it reminded me a lot of the 2013 national championship team i was part of they were so connected everybody it didn't matter who it was, everybody in the program understood the goal and they all did what they're supposed to do. And so as far as a players group, that was the most tight knit group I've ever been a part of. They did everything together. They didn't care who got the glory. They wanted to win. And so um, I'll never forget that with this team. And they always believed they were going to win. You know, there was never a point in the year where we thought we were going to lose. You know, even the CA championship game, you know, we fell short. But in the huddle, like, I honestly didn't think we were going to lose. Yep. The guys didn't think we were going to lose. Yep. And at the CBI championship, we didn't think we were going to lose. When we were down against Drake, we didn't – you know, we just never thought that we were ever out of the game. And so I will always remember the resiliency of the group, of the belief in one another that, you know, we're not, just because we're down doesn't mean we're out of it. So what would you guys take from it? Spence, take that one. Uh, this year was like for me, it was like it was just like a roller coaster ride of emotions. Just cause like we were I mean, we were third we started out slow. I mean, I wouldn't really say we started out slow. I mean, we were the Three. Guilford game. The Guilford game was I feel like it was our low point. Mm -hmm. Didn't play good at home. Uh, but then it was like after that, we just clicked. And we, we just went up from there. And then the the hop or the high point game was when I was like, okay, this is when we're about like, you know, we we hadn't won many road games at UNCW while I was there before this year. And I, I me and you had talked about it. I thought I was the curse. I thought it was on any road trip I went on. We were we were destined to lose just because I was there. Let the record show. Every time you post a picture during the season, we lost the next game. Just let the record show that. That's and he stopped posting pictures, and we won the CBI. I'm just one. Yeah. Uh, sorry to interrupt you, but yeah. <laughs> so and and then the uh, then the JMU game happened, and we were still. On, I mean, we were riding high. Then the Towson game, the win streak was going on, and then the. Uh, we win the regular season, and I mean, me and Kagan, we when we were going through this year, it was like me and Kagan's dream year. Like we'd always wanted to be a part of a college basketball team. We wanted to win so bad. We wanted to get the rings. I mean, this was our glory year, just because like we did so much, we accomplished so much. And I was telling him, I was like, you and me and Jack. I mean, we were here, and Jalen and Mike, we were here the lowest of lows at, at the UNCW basketball. I mean, we were on a – I mean, we went a couple months without winning a game. And then this year we go multiple months not losing a game. It was just like a complete turnaround for me this year. You know, one of my favorite things about uh, coaching is I love – I literally love the feeling of winning a tight game. Yes. I love the just that that feeling of winning a, like a tight big game. So, you know, it was funny when we started winning them to, cl cl those close games, the high point, the Campbells, and so it was kind of a running joke because I'd come to the locker room and the staff like another another close one. Those are the best right there. And so, after about you know every single game was like that. Kurt was like, "You still like all these close games?" And I was like, "I'd prefer to win by twenty if we could," but <laughs> you know. <laughs> Those feelings, I, I'll know. I, like I, I love those type of games. Coach, when when we would pull out, when we would squeak one out, uh, somehow, we would be riding back on the bus late at night, or we'd be on the plane, and you and you'd come uh, sneak back to the uh, to my seat to get some uh, to get some Rice Krispies, 
and you'd always look over. You, well, we'd, we'd end up sitting there for about 30 minutes and talking, but you'd always lean over that seat. And what would you say to him? Shoot, I'd say a lot of things, but I'd say we're living, we're living the life, man. So this is the time of your life, isn't it? Time of your life, man. Don't, do not forget this time because when you, when you graduate and it's, it's the real world, you'll always look back at these times and be like, man, those were, those were fun. Those were fun memories. Yep. Uh, and I think I told me and Spence talk about this all the time. I don't know if you remember this, but after we won the regular season at Delaware, you, you like, you grabbed me and you said, these are the moments. This is what I've been talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I'm telling you to be a part of a championship. People don't understand how hard it is to do it. Oh yeah. It's hard to win period. It's hard to win. You know, you look at Coach Kanaski's career, you know, he's been coaching a long time. And, you know, I don't know how many, I don't know how many championships he's been a part of, but when you get the opportunity to be a part of one, you have to cherish it. You have to cherish the moment because you never know when that next one's going to come. So that's why I always told you guys, you know, enjoy every moment. Enjoy the moments. Yep. I, um, moments. I, was, I talked to – I had the opportunity to see my, my uncle uh, two days ago. I hadn't seen him in a long time. And he, he coached uh, in high school and just, just a great basketball – well, a great mind in, in all sports. He coached basketball, baseball, football at my high school and gets does not get enough credit. The dude, he, he knows the game. Um, great coach. And he, he was talking about the CBI. You know, I hadn't seen him in a long time. He said, man, that was like – that championship game was the, might be the greatest game I've ever seen. I've seen a lot. And he said, you know what, Kagan? He said, it doesn't matter what level you're at. He said, he pointed at his, his, uh, his grandson and said, you could be at his level playing T-ball or your level at mid-major or my level of coaching high school or, or at Kentucky, you know? And he was like, he said, it doesn't matter what level you're at. He said, if you're a part of it and you're there in the trenches and, you know, you're working there every day, he said, there's no better feeling than, yeah. you know, being in that locker room, and, you know, being a part of it. He said, there's nothing better in the world. And I, I have to agree with him. Oh yeah, he's he's one thousand percent right. It doesn't matter what it is, and I and I asked Coach Kanaski that because he he coached at Division two level, and I said, "What's the difference?" You know, obviously you've been all you've been all over the place as far as levels. He said, "There's really no difference as far as the games and the strategies and and the competitiveness. You know, it's just di just different athletes. Yep, just the players are either better or worse, but nothing is nothing else is different. You know, it's still the same." I'm when uh when I was at Cape Fear, being a manager, we won the the conference championship to go to the national tournament. I shed a tear. I mean, that was first first championship I'd been a part of. You know, running on the court, celebrating. I was actually videoing uh in the stands because that was the only film we had. And uh, I remember just hitting the record button on the camera and just darting to the other side where everybody was. And I mean, talk about Delaware. I was sitting there, nobody saw me, but because I didn't want to show the emotions in the locker room. I was sitting there, I was like, man, this is awesome. I was like, and I still get emotional watching the games today. I'm just like, I'm, we're a part of that. And everybody's always like, oh, you're, you were just a manager, you know, you, uh, okay, I'm not sure if you get these people that, like, just random people you tell, oh, what'd you do in college? I was a manager. Oh, so you just did laundry and washed the clothes and all that. Like, I'm yeah, like, no it's, idea. A it's a lot more than that. You don't, they don't understand how many balls you guys shagged and, you know, you guys, are, you know, those dudes are, you know, the players that we work with, they get better with us, you know? Oh yeah. All, all the shots that we have to rebound and the shots are getting up behind the scenes when the coaches maybe aren't at the office, you know, you play a part in that. You play a part in that. 